uh, or did, did it get to the pushing point for you to then sort of come to the point where you were able to speak about it? She's recognised quite early in her royal career, if you like, that um, we can tackle these problems right at the very start. And she's made it her mission to make sure that every child has the best possible start in life. Too often, people feel afraid to, that they are struggling with their mental health. This fear of judgment stops people from getting the help that they need, which can destroy families and end lives. Initially, it started off that whole mental health campaign, a sort of the heads together thing, Harry, William and Kate, and then Meghan briefly. Um, but she's got much more involved than perhaps people realise. Uh, and I think she might have had a little bit of experience from her, within her own family. Her brother James had, had problems with his own mental well-being. He, he's very bravely talked about it and, in fact, wrote, a, wrote about it too. Um, and, and that may have helped sort of form an idea in Kay's head and, 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 and she, she came with a bit of knowledge, if you like, about these kind of issues. Kate is a patron of the Anna Freud Centre for uh, Children and Families and that's where she has really learned a great deal about the importance of parents' mental health in very early childhood and you know she's really learned that parents need to be supported as much as the children to provide this nurturing um, environment in which children can grow up um, and hopefully be resilient to what life might throw at them later on. You're all here today because we care so much about transforming the mental health of children, young people and their families. I have learned so much about early childhood development and the importance of support for parents through your work here at the Anatory Centre. This is something I really do care about. In the same way that the Duke of Cambridge has, has taken on difficult, sensitive issues such as male suicide, um, you know, we see, we see the Duchess take on issues that we perhaps don't traditionally associate with the royal family. So, for example, she is patron of the Anna Freud Centre. Um, she has made a real commitment to mental health, to um, addictions. So she's very...